Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here with another Super Science today. This one is based on the question, how hot is the human torch? Now in answering this question today, we are, we are not looking at his maximum output of heat. That'd be ridiculous. We are looking at his base form. Now this is the form I'm talking about when he goes flame on and then flies off to do whatever he wants to do. So let's get right into it. Now the human torch in the comics and the Marvel Wiki, all that stuff, He's listed at being, you know, his base form is 780 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, this is really interesting, you know, this, it's obviously really hot, but honestly, the way we're going to look at this is, you know, obviously when he goes into this flame on, you know, basic form, this base form, you could say, he gains the ability to fly. So one thing we're really going to look at here to determine if 780 degrees Fahrenheit is accurate or not is we're gonna look at how hot he has to be to fly around like he does. So in doing this, we're gonna, you know, most likely the way he gains his lift is the same way a hot air balloon gains their lift. So basically this is done by burning the air around him, um, which makes it less dense. And uh, this is due to the buoyant force created by the surrounding air. And the principle behind this basically is uh, called the Archimedes Principle. I recommend everybody look it up. I am not gonna go into it. I did it in a previous recording and this video was way too long and got off on way too many tangents and all this stuff. And there's a lot of equations that go on there. So one thing I hope I can take you guys, um, one thing I can hope, one, one thing I hope I can impart, I should say, on you guys is a natural curiosity for this. And hopefully you guys look it up and learn a bunch of chemistry slash physics equations and um, principles at that. So the principle behind this lift, like I said before, is called the Archimedes principle, which states that any object that is suspended in a, in a fluid, which you know, the sky would be, is acted upon by an upward buoyant force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Now this upward buoyant force needs to be greater than the force of gravity, it, I mean obviously, um, acting upon the object in order to get lift. If not, you're not going to go anywhere upwards at least. So, the average hot air balloon has air in an envelope, like object, and that air is heated to about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, with this being said, you know, the human torch, you know, having the air around him at, uh, let's say, 780 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, that's believable, you know, for him to be able to, you know, get lift and rise in the air. However, not only does the human torch, you know, just rise in the air he's able to fly and not just fly he's able to fly at supersonic speeds and to do this he would need something called thrust in order to propel himself in the direction he's trying to fly in uh, just like a jet basically so looking at it from that point of view basically the part of his body that is not the forward pointing by it's basically the tail of human torch's fiery form which traditionally would be like the feet something like that that would basically take the place, uh, replicate, you know, what the engine of a jet does in compressing, you know, heated air. Um, and I, it, it gets a lot more fancier than that, trust me, depending on which, you know, engine you take. Like, a commercial jet, um, you know, can get temperatures easily at 3,632 degrees or 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's, like I said, just a commercial jet. I'm not even talking about supersonic jets supersonic jets are a whole nother ball game they're a lot hotter and the only thing with those is that usually like a scramjet you have to give them that a lot of kinetic energy beforehand so traditionally like not traditionally but usually either another engine's powering the jet before it reaches that supersonic speed like a mock not even mock one more like mock one mock two but um usually that or they bring it really high up in the air high altitude wise and they drop it so it gets that kinetic energy and then the engine kicks on and then from there it just goes. Um, so that gets really complicated actually, but I feel very comfortable saying the temperature that you know the quote unquote tail of the human torch would have to reach is, you know, let's say 3600 um, based on a commercial jet, all those things. This is just, you know, him just cruising around by the way, this is not him trying to, you know, run away as fast as he can, fly as fast as he can. So based upon this, I'd say the Human Torch is probably actually not at 780 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, for his base fiery form. Probably he's at a comfortable 1000 degrees Fahrenheit 
at the coldest parts of this fiery form and at least 3500 degrees more like 3600 degrees really um at the parts of his body that need to generate thrust um however remember this is a comic book character so the science wouldn't actually make complete sense in real life you know this is basically probably the best sciencey explain wise you can get with the character just because there are a lot of inconsistencies in general i mean he definitely wouldn't be able to be as you know acrobatic in the air as he is and then there's the problem of the human torch making just certain parts of his body on fire and then the rest of him is on fire and he still moves around the same so i mean there are inconsistencies there because he's a comic book character but this is basically um probably the best explanation wise at least i can do so um i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i hope you know, this gave you a general idea of how the human torches you know fiery form plasma form whatever you want to call it works and if you guys have any other ideas you know comments leave them below obviously in the comment area and um yeah this is josh like i said before i'm a mechanical engineering student so i do not have a degree in physics or anything like that so i did do the best i can i appreciate you guys watching the video i hope you guys did enjoy it and um i will see you guys later